How do you prove a statement by contradiction? I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here is another very interesting question where we'll use prove by contradiction. Now these questions are very tricky. You have to play with the words to really prove by contradiction. The question here is Prove that square root 2 plus square root 3 is not a rational number. Now we can prove it by contradiction. Proving by contradiction really means few steps. First, assume that the statement given is not true. So when we say prove that this is not a rational number, First thing we will do is assume let square root 2 plus square root 3 be a rational number. So, we want to prove something and we contradict it. Let it be, right? So, let it be a rational number. Now, the idea is we have to logically follow some steps so that we could contradict this statement. Once we contradict this statement, which is possible by coming to something which is impossible, where either the assumption is not correct or where some identity is not correct, then we can say, well, we led to something which was contradictory and therefore our statement assumption was wrong and the statement given to be proven is correct. So, literally, these steps are kind of like this. To prove a statement by contradiction, you start by assuming it is not true. Write a negative statement for doing so. Then use logical steps to show that this assumption leads to something impossible, either a contradiction of the assumption or contradiction of a fact. Then you can conclude that the assumption was wrong and so the original statement was true. Perfect. So these are the steps to be followed. So let's continue. We have already done the negative statement of not a rational number. Let it be a rational number. Now if it is a rational number, I could really write this as some rational number, right? So, let us say we write square root 2 plus square root 3 as equal to some number x, where x is a rational number. So, x is a rational number. Okay. So, if I square both sides, what do I get? Square root 2 plus square root 3 whole square will be x square. Expanding the left side, we get a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? So, it is 2 plus 2 times square root 2 square root 3 plus square root 3 square root 3, right? Equals to x square. So, from here, we can rearrange 2 plus 3 is 5. So, we get 5 plus 2 square root 6 equals to x square. And we can say 2 square root 6 is equal to x square minus 5. Correct? Now, we can divide by 2 and say square root 6 is equal to x square minus 5 by 2. Now, in this statement, you know one thing that Square root 6 is a rational number, right? Square root 6 is irrational number. Correct? And now, if you are saying that the right hand side is rational, we have contradicted, right? Square root 6 is irrational. So, there, that means that the right hand side cannot be rational, right? So, 
So, see how we have contradicted the statement, right? So, therefore, from contradiction, we can show that cube root, or I mean square root of 2 plus square root of 3 is irrational. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we are going to prove it, irrational number, right? So, I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.